it will be faced with resistance from the structure of the building and this amount of force will be at least the same or bigger than the weight of the block because throughout its history it has been uh, holding this block so even if it's gained some speed to be able to crush something from the inertia it still would be slowing down not speeding up so I'll do it mathematically and you'll see some of the forces in the vertical direction equals ma that's Newton's second law of motion now I'll write down the actual masses here the mass of this block of 15 floors is 68,000 tons which is and to get the weight I multiply by 9.8 so the weight of this block is 668,181,816 newtons now this this one here the resistance force will equal 669,700,620 newtons now this is going to be negative because it will be acting upwards it's the resistance from the structure now what we have now we have two forces in the opposite directions this is one and this is one some of the sum of the forces in the vertical direction is equal to ma so now I want to work out the acceleration so some of the forces will be this plus that plus 6,8,1,8,1,8,1,6 equals MA so if you substitute the numbers you'll find A will equal negative 0.0223 meters per second squared so therefore we have a deceleration here, we don't have an acceleration as we expected because the, the net force is upwards not downwards so this block that's falling is going to uh, decelerate, it's going to slow down, it's not gonna speed up so now we will see how long for this block to reach the ground how long will it take for this block to crush all the way to the floor now I will work out how long it will take for the block to reach the ground another simple equation I write down my information my when the block is hitting the this structure the speed of it is 8.63 8.63 downward so it's positive so the initial velocity is 8.63 meters per second and the acceleration I put it here is negative it will be upwards so my distance and the distance will be 361 meters it's the distance from here to here 361 meters so this is the formula again from the straight line motion formulas that I showed you before this is d equals ut plus half a t squared constant acceleration formula so 361 equals u which is 8.63 361 is down so it's positive 863 is down so it's positive by t 
plus half. The acceleration is up, so it's negative. Negative this value, 0 0.02. T squared. T squared. So as you see here, I've got a quadratic. If I solve this quadratic, my T will come as 44 seconds seconds so the building if it was to crush what's below it it should have taken at least uh, 44 seconds and this is uh, obviously not the right way to calculate but this is at least this gives you a, is a very simple way to give you at least uh, how long it will take for the building to reach the floor now in reality there is a lot of energy is used to uh, deform the structure and a lot of energy as you saw this is assuming that the whole block is falling on when you saw in real life it was all falling uh, away so the, this, this structure had no reason to collapse also this structure as you going down it becomes much more stronger and more solid and that's the design of it so uh, it would not make sense for it to crush it at all but this is just for the argument's sake and to see if it's possible and as we saw uh, it fell in uh, 10 seconds and uh, if it was to crush all of this and there would be no resistance from the structure except its own what it was already supporting then we still find out that it will take 44 uh, seconds for the block to reach the floor alternatively if we say that the building was not designed to hold humans and it was it would this block here this structure would provide resistance as big as the weight of this block which it, it has always been holding for the past years so if we assume that so we say this structure will provide a resistance force equal to the weight of this block still the sum of the forces after this block has hit this block after it has accelerated and hit this block the sum of the forces now are is equal the same so it's equal to zero because you have the resistance force is equal to the weight force of this block and they're in the opposite direction so the sum of the forces or the force net equals zero so when the force net equals zero there is no acceleration so whatever the speed that was which is 8.63 it should stay the same throughout the whole journey and if we do that calculation if we do you know v velocity equals distance over time this is very simple equation if we say the speed or the velocity was 8.63 and the distance was 361 so how much time should it take for this block to reach the floor it will be 42 seconds so this is if we assume there was no humans the, it's not designed to take the weight of the humans it should take 42 seconds to crush it and if we assume that it was designed to take the weight of the humans it should take 44 seconds to crush it but none of them shows that it can take only 10 seconds to crush the whole thing thank you we heard this rumbling sound like a terrible thunderstorm and we were just running and running and running then I heard a big push The tower that had taken 10 years to build collapsed in 10 seconds.